actually redoing my bedroom. That's gonna be the next video that you see. I'm actually doing a three-part series. This is number two. I just wanted to show you the furniture that I flipped and the inexpensive DIY that I did. Nothing is ever perfect, maybe because I am a perfectionist who can never satisfy her needs for perfection. But I'm really happy with how everything came out. So I really wanted to just show you guys the process that I did and how easy and inexpensive flipping furniture really is. So the first one that I want to talk about is the nightstand that I got. So I actually got this one off of Facebook Marketplace. I didn't film picking it up. I got it from some guy. I did ask him if he can go down to $15, but he wouldn't budge. I actually painted it a matte color. I prefer matte over semi-gloss or eggshell. It's just something that I choose. I just chose the Bear Marquee in regular black. Like that was the only black color that they had at Home Depot when I went and it was literally called black. So I think that's like gonna be my go-to black color now. Um, it also had this, what would you call it? A knob, a little pulley, whatever that thing is called. I originally wanted to change it out but I decided to just keep it and I spray painted it gold. So far, I'm okay with how it came out. I hadn't had a nightstand in my room in a very long time. Here's the finished look. for about five years now. So I just gave it a coat of some black paint and it came out really nice. So there's that item for you. that I did flip and the last thing I wanted to show you guys is my DIY of plant hangers so all you have to do is get white cord from any place dollar store Hobby Lobby I found the bowls at the dollar store and all I did was drill some holes in the bottom so that water can leak through as well as I spray painted it same gold that I used on the knob for the nightstand I'll eventually probably change out the bowls but I'm just so excited to be hanging plants in my room I did get frustrated while I was making them because there's one particular step that you have to remember and that's on the second knots make sure that you are not looping the two strings that come from the first knot make sure you're doing the knot next to it and then you'll be fine I wasn't doing that at first and I was getting so frustrated because it was also really hot outside I didn't want to give up because I was like I have to get this done and I was so irritated that day anyways so yeah in my last haul video you saw that I purchased one pothos plant I went ahead and split those two and I think they came out really nice they look super cute in the bowls so I'm excited to hang them this is how this one came out super easy to do so I'll show you guys how I hang them up all right so I hired a cameraman which is my brother but I don't need to hire a handyman because I'm a woman and I can do it all by myself okay good job <laughs> so we're gonna put this little ceiling hook could be prettier but um, we're gonna go ahead and put this up in the ceiling so it says drill 916 in hole am I supposed to put a hole up in the ceiling Great. <laughs> oh my god. No, what are you doing? I failed. My brother's gonna do it for me. watching I forgot to do an outro on the day that I did this so I didn't want to leave you guys without one some of you guys have been asking about the closet doors that you saw on my Instagram and in my background at the beginning of this video well I'm so excited that's gonna be in the next week's video so I really hope you enjoy it this whole room as you can see behind me a little bit more took me a really long time but I'm very happy with how it came out and uh, you know changing your room and the area that you wake up in really changes your mood every morning I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the DIYs. Bye!